Is your email form so insecure that it always seeks your validation? Don't worry, I've got you. Today, I'll walk you through the entire process of creating an email field and validating it using vValidate version 4. As a bonus, I'll test the setup and prove it works. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Mail Trap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. All right, let's start by creating a new view.js project. Browse to the location where you want to generate the project and run the npm create view at latest command. Provide the desired project name and complete the configuration with the default values. Open the newly generated project and the terminal. Run the npm install command. Test the project by running the npm run dev command and opening the local host endpoint in the browser. As you can see, the project is up and running. Go back to your code editor and stop the development server for now. At this point, we need to install the necessary dependencies. Using the npm i command, I'll install vValidate itself, vValidate i18n which supports custom validation errors even in different languages, and vValidate rules, which contains common validation rules. You can use other validation packages in conjunction, such as yup or zod, but in this case, I'll use vValidate's native rules. And that's it for installation. Let's open the package.json file. You can see vValidate i18n, vValidate rules, and vValidate, meaning everything was installed correctly. Before we build those validations, click that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We have at least 10 other front-end tutorials for you to build and validate emails. I'm sure you don't want to miss them, do you? Back to our project. Close the terminal and open the app.view inside the SRC. Remember that in a real project, it's better to configure the imports and rule definitions externally or within the main.js file. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll configure them inside the app.view file. Now remove the boilerplate code inside the script setup, template, and style. Let's start with the script setup. Import ref from view core components and functions from vValidate, predefined validation rules from vValidate rules, and localization function from vValidate i18n. The next step is to define the validation rules for the form. Using the define rule function, first register the required rule or your own validation. Then register the email rule with an alias email validation to avoid naming conflicts. You can use any name you want here. Set up the configuration for vValidate. Enable real-time validation as the user types using validate on input. And configure custom validation messages using the localize function. In this case, I'll set the language to English and define custom messages for the required and email rules. Create the email reactive variable initialized with an empty string to hold the email input value. And define a string of required and email validation rules that will be applied to the email field. This string links the input field with the validation rules. That completes the script setup. Moving on to the template. Define vValidate's form component, which acts as a wrapper for the form and adds a custom CSS class for styling. Configure the label for the email input field. Next, add vValidate's field component to create the form input element with specific validation rules and styling. It binds to the email reactive variable for two-way data binding and includes attributes for the input type, validation rules, placeholder text, and a custom CSS class. Finally, add the error message component that displays validation error messages for the input field. For the sake of beauty, add a simple styling. Ben, it's so beautiful. So, we defined custom styling for the scoped components, the template, and the validation logic. It's time to test our setup and see if everything works as expected. Open the terminal, run the npm run dev command, and go to the local host 5173. Our email field is already loaded. Let's test it. Once I start typing, please enter a valid email address error appears. If I empty the inputs, an email is required error appears. And as I enter the valid email address, no validation errors appear. All done. 
You can now create and validate an email form in Vue.js using vValidate. Want to learn how to build a form in Vue from scratch? No problem. Follow our video guide and have it ready in 10 minutes. See you there.